Hey, what is going on everybody? I'm Noah Kravitz from TechnoBuffalo.com. One of my favorite tablets of this year, when I first saw it at Mobile World Congress in Barcelona, was the HTC Flyer. Now that I've had the Wi-Fi only version for uh, about a week now, along with the Magic Pen, is it still my favorite? Let's find out. Um, otherwise, we've got Snap Booth, which is um, uh, a little kind of Apple photo booth type app for, uh, I don't mean to compare it to Apple, but you know, they, they, they have it out there, so whatever. It's a little front-facing camera app, just kind of fun. Um, you know, some other little stuff like that. Uh, you've got the e-reader, and this will get into talking about the pen, which is what I wanted to talk about. So you've got your e-reader in here, and uh, it's powered by Kobo, and you know, it comes with some books preloaded, pre so here's the... Uh, Here's the Scarlet Letter, and I can read the Scarlet Letter. Um, and so now I can go to uh, Kobo, and I can download books, I can shop. So here's the eBooks by Kobo store, and I've got, um, got books and periodicals as well. And uh, again, you know, Kobo is a big player, but again, you know, you can access, you can download the Kindle app. This is a little different because you can download Kindle, you can download Nook uh, for the device and use those if you'd rather, which, you know, some people might because those are sort of the bigger players. But the reader works well, and we'll get back into the reader, actually, and go back in here and uh, start to use the pen. And so when I'm in the reader, I can draw to make a note. I can erase by pressing, you see the pen has two buttons there, so I can press the one button to erase and I can press the other button to highlight. And so this is where using the pen, you know, gets into, I think the pen can be very valuable for very specific situations. Uh, HTC has, you know, it's an ecosystem and they're gonna talk to their coding developers, they've got an API for the pen, the whole thing, and they really need to build functionality around the pen to bring it to a larger market. Because right now, I think for a student, you know, a device like this with the pen could be great because for highlighting, for note taking, all that kind of stuff, if uh, you know your school or university supports uh, ebooks that work with HTC's pen system, and you can carry this thing around instead of a whole stack of books, and you can download books instead of you know having to go to the library, especially if it's a, a book you have to get from a different school or library on a, on a loan, that sort of thing. You know that's where technology can really be empowering, and being able to use this device to make notes in the margin, you know, if you have handwriting that's somewhat uh, legible, unlike mine you know, it can be terrific. Um, and then here's the little pen button and you tap it with the pen and you get, you know, you can change colors and you can change, you know, pen tips and all that kind of stuff. Um, but uh, as it is now, you know, you can use the pen in the reader. Uh, you can use the pen anywhere. If you tap, you get a screenshot and it automatically launches the Scribble app. And then in the, you know, in the Scribble app, I can make annotations and I can talk about you know how, and let's uh, let's change my color here, and we'll go to something we can see a little bit better. There's the clock, and maybe we'll make uh, make this a little bit thicker so it's easy to see. Clock and so on, you know. So, but there's not a ton you can do with it right now. You can use it in the reader. You can use it in the Scribble app. And you can also use it in notes. Uh, and you might see here the, the way that HTC explained to me was basically anything that you would uh, do on the screen normally on a tablet with your finger, you do with your finger. And anything where you're going to be drawing, that's where you use the pen. So in getting used to the device, I took a lot of screenshots I didn't mean to take because I wanted, you know, I had the pen in hand and I said, all right, well, let's, uh, let's launch notes. And then instead of launching, it took a screenshot because that's, that's what it's set up to do. Uh, but if I go to notes... Notes is cool because uh, Notes is set up to sync with Evernote. So if you use Evernote, uh, this is pretty awesome. I'm not in a note. It always, I have all my Facebook friends uh, attached here. And so it always, when you start a new note, it, it says, it looks like you're in a meeting, which is a nice feature, except that I need to take my Facebook friends out because uh, I'm not actually in a meeting with Tyler Murray's birthday. But happy birthday, Tyler. So I'll start a new note. And you can take a picture, you can add audio notes, which is cool, all kinds of stuff. And uh, you can type or you can draw. So I'm going to do, here's my note. Yay. Uh, and then 
here we'll uh, we'll give the gift that I cannot receive anymore which is the gift of hair and there you go so here's my note now when I'm done with my note I can share it I can save it whoops I didn't mean to discard it um, I can share it I can save it I can do all that stuff and it'll automatically get saved to Evernote if you're logged into Evernote. And Evernote's really cool because this note will then automatically show up on any other device I can, I can access Evernote on. So a smartphone, a laptop, a desktop, etc. So if you're the kind of person, if you use Evernote, and a lot of people do, you know, this is a really great system for productivity, I think. So uh, anyway, in a nutshell, you know, that, that's kind of a quick look, or, or an in-depth look, I should say, not a quick look, at what the flyer can do. And I think basically, uh, you know, you've got your music player, you've got support for all kinds of codecs, audio and video. Uh, like I said, performance has been really good. Um, you know, the cameras are kind of mediocre, which is too bad, but that's sort of how <laughs> lots, of, uh, lots of tablets are right now. Uh, the pen functionality, you know, uh, it's very pricey. And for an extra 80 bucks on top of a $500 tablet, uh, that's kind of a big ask right now, given the uh, limited use of the pen. I think if HTC can get some more developers on board and build an ecosystem around it, that'd be great. I think there's really a market for a, a pen stylus uh, in environments like, you know, enterprise environments and school environments where people want to use this thing. They want to take notes. They want to carry this and, uh, you know, use it for highlighting, use it for, you know, annotating things. You're in a meeting, you want to scribble down a note, that kind of thing. That's where this could become kind of a more legitimate laptop replacement in a productivity environment. In sort of a general use environment, I think it just comes down to, you know, what, uh, what do you want out of your tablet? And if you like HTC Sense, um, and you like the seven inch form factor, this is a great device, a little bit pricey, but a great device. If you don't necessarily need Sense, or you want something that's bigger, but maybe a little bit lighter even, you know, the Galaxy Tab Ted One, the Transformer with the dual core NVIDIA chips, uh, the G Slate from T-Mobile and LG, the Optimus Pad as they call it. You know, those are devices which uh, they're honeycomb and uh, you have access right now to the honeycomb apps. Maybe a little bit less polish, but you know, that's going to improve over time for sure. And with 3.1 rolling out as well and uh, definitely compelling choices. So overall, a thumbs up to the uh, flyer, but it's a reserved thumbs up because it has to fit your particular needs. Uh, it was my favorite tablet. At, um, at Mobile World Congress. Now that I've had it in hand for a while and I've had a, a Galaxy Tab 10 One in hand, honestly, if I had to choose, I think I would personally go with the Tab 10 One. And for me, you know, holding it, uh, holding the 10 One made me think, oh wow, a tablet this big and light uh, is really nice, but I don't mind holding it in one hand. But, uh, you know, for portability's sake, um, the smaller footprint of the flyer, definitely good. Anyway, it's all about choices these days in smartphones and tablets and everything else and you have plenty of choices. Thanks to the folks to HTC for loaning us the HTC Flyer Wi-Fi only edition. Again, it's on sale now, $4.99 from Best Buy. The uh, pen will run you an additional 80 bucks and uh, we should see the Sprint version, the first carrier version uh, coming soon. Much, much more on the Flyer, all the other tablets over at technobuffalo.com. You can follow us on Twitter, you can like us on Facebook, you can even invest in us now on Empire Avenue, so go check it out. Till next time, my name's Noah, thanks for watching, bye-bye.